Hi everyone, welcome back to Kim Help ASAP. In this video, I am going to show you how I determined my sig figs when we did our mole to mole stoichiometric calculations. Okay, here is our problem and all of the marks we made on our page. Let's work on sig figs. So my first calculation is all multiplication division. So all I need to do is I need to find the number with the fewest number of sig figs and that will determine how many sig figs my answer has. So if I look at my 1.0 moles of sulfur, that has two sig figs. My mole ratio, it's tempting to say it only has one sig fig, but this is an exact number. So remember your rules for sig figs, exact numbers have an infinite number of sig figs. Therefore, my 1.0 moles of sulfur is gonna limit me. My answer should have two sig figs. And yes, my answer has two sig figs. Let's move on to the second part. Again, it's all multiplication division, so I'm just looking at numbers of sig figs. I'm not counting up decimal places. I was given 3.0 moles of sulfur. That has two sig figs. Here is my mole ratio again. That has an infinite number. So again, the number I was given is going to limit me. My answer should have two sig figs, and yes, it does. Here is our final calculation that we did. Now this one is a little bit longer, but still it's all multiplication division. So I'm just looking at total number of sig figs. So I was given 6.75 moles that has three sig figs. Here's my mole ratio, that's infinite. Here is Avogadro's number. This has six sig figs. So my number with the fewest sig figs is again going to be the number I started with. My answer should have three sig figs. Yeah, my calculator gave me a lot more than three. I need to round to this decimal place right here. And my answer has three sig figs. The nice thing about this kind of stoichiometry is we can just stick to multiplication division rules. We don't have to switch back and forth between addition, subtraction, and multiplication division rules. So it keeps things nice and simple. I hope you found this video helpful and thanks so much for watching.